really good response, especially with the video coming out. That's when everyone actually heard the song properly, the men bringing out the video. and. The response that we got was really good and everyone was, you know, commending us saying, oh, you girls have done well, you know, you've been quiet for so long, but you've come out and this song's great. I think that's what's going to be good about the album as well because we're experimenting with our sound. We still, we yeah. don't have a set, a set sound. So like, I think the album's going to be loads of different, like. But is that difficult though? Because we're like, the way this industry is, is that a sound is quite, for an act. Mm, okay. Yeah, there will be a consistency. You, but, in, but the thing is with us, like, it's like, we can be on any tune and you'll know it's RD. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's one thing about us, we've got an RD stamp on it. Like, it can be a hip hop tune and it can be um, an indie song and you'll still know that it's RD on the track. I think that's what kind of makes up for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't do something like that, because there, there are a lot of, like, there's an influx this year of um, a lot of girl bands. Yeah. And like you guys are the ones that have like your own real individual personalities and, and, and it comes through. But do you see that as competition or how do you see if all these other girl bands being pushed forward as well? Everything's competition. I think it is, you know, but like obviously I think we're quite, we, we're different to them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I'm not saying all girl groups are the same, but I just thought that our do you just have something that's just different. Just different. We've got crunches. That, that's, that's like, the, that's the different. The you're, is a, you're the USP, bar, right? Like. <laughs> <laughs> that's the difference right there. Like, there's not a girl group who has a rapper that's out. And we're mean? quite like. I'm not signed anyways. Yeah. 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 So, and we're quite like, you know, we're quite boyish at times with like tomboys and we're quite down. I mean, I know a lot of girls say oh, we're like tomboys, but we are like, really. It's tomboys. just crazy. It's just our behaviour and our demeanour. You guys have a clash though, musically, because you, you're, you're grime, I'd say, and you're R&B and you're soul, so. We still, we, we listen to the yeah. same type of music. Yeah, we're very versatile, we broaden our horizons, we all listen to indie music, or we listen to a rock tune, or we listen to a grime tune, or pop, hip hop, but we all share the same taste and same similarities in music, and I think that's what, what helps us as well. So if I asked you to give me your top five grime artists, that you're feeling, who would they be? Um, Skepta. No, it's not one to five, it's just Skepta, Wretch, Ghetto, JME, I love JME, um, and uh, Shiesty. Shiesty. Yeah, when she done the diamond in the dirt. Yeah. I love that. But then before, so before RD, you were, you were splitting. Yeah. So was it? Do you still have the is it now just gonna be you and RD or do you still somehow have like so ambitious? No nah, man, like I mean I still jam with my friends, yeah. spitting sessions, like the other day I was just spitting bars or whatever, we was in the studio yesterday, there were some MCs there we just like get the phone out guys and just like <laughs> spitting bars outside, like it was fun that like, I still wanna do that and I still wanna show people that as well as being an RD that I can still do the whole kind of MC thing. So now you guys were talking about the album, mm -hmm. right? So that's probably gonna be next year. Yeah. Is there any people that you want to work with or who are you actually like, working with now? Yeah. I think that this album is just going to be about us, like, it's just going to be RD based. Mm. I don't think that there's going to be, be any features on the album. I'm not sure yet, but right now I don't think so. What about producers? The producers we've been working with, obviously, again, Genius. We've got me burning, we worked with Benga, Yogi. Benga. Yeah. Yogi, he's done Tractor, um, worked Parker with Parker James, James, Parallel. Parallel. Um, We've worked with a good few number of names. Crazy cousins. Yeah. So you're working with the right people. Yeah. yeah. Um, Hudson Mohawk, Deneo. So, right, so now let's talk about you guys' style. Because your style, when I first saw you guys, like your style was very obvious. But how would you describe your own style, like as a fashion? Our style is d it's just different. I just think uh, I'd describe it as edgy and sh and street and urban, really. We just throw it in. We don't. Like at the moment, we're not we're not gonna lie to you. Like we're not like some rich girl group who got signed. Like it's not that. Like we grind, isn't it? Like we're still we're not wearing the Gucci. We're not wearing the Louis V. We're not wearing all of that. We'll blatantly go Adidas and we'll blatantly go to H and M, Topshop. Like that's it's really us. That like, we wear the jeans, casual, and casual, swag. casual swag. So let's, let's describe the swag today, then. <laughs> Crons, you've got, got to describe yourself. Oh, Show them the shoes, girl. So today I'm doing a little Gwen Stefani. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, like um, just kind of like a rock kind of, but very cash. Like t-shirt, Ramones, not bad at Ramones. Like leather jacket, pair of skinnies, Converse's, cash. Like 
Yeah. Me, pretty much same as Colin at the moment, you know, just keep it like, you know, the leather jacket to so just edge it out a bit, but you know, a casual tee to match my trainers, <laughs> and a pair of skinny jeans to match the jacket, just smooth and cool. With me, I've got, I've gone for the kind of tailor gang today. I'm like tailor. I've got the snapback. I've got the um, the done up shirt, and I've done these leggings myself. Actually, it's got scissors and like, chup, chup, chup. yeah, like, I like to customize my clothes with my, my DMs and my bangles. Yeah, man. But I was asking you like, so now that you're in the system, right? Do you do you meet like people kind of like snobbish to like the type of music? You know, because some people still don't take to like the urban sound. They just don't think it's like. Yeah. Well, to our faces no one said anything but I'm sure behind our back they will. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but to yeah. our face everyone's always been very nice and very supportive. Yeah. Everyone's just kind of like, Do you know what, you girls have got something and I think that's what keeps us going, the fact that we know we're doing something right. So I want to really get into the story you could give because your manager's not here, but how did that, how you guys actually got together on that, if you could just recap that story about getting together. Well, she, she found us all on MySpace. MySpace, you know. Well, individually, you're all <laughs> individually yeah. yeah. I mean, like, we were friends on MySpace, like at Crunz. <laughs> Everyone knew about Chronicle, innit? Yeah. Like Lady Chronicle, like, yeah. and she was doing her thing, and I think that's how our manager got hold of her as well, you know, knowing about Crunz as their MC who was dominating the scene at the time. And I mean, they were working with each other before there was a RD situation. She brought me and Martika into the, to the collective, and then from there, just clicked and we just wanted to just move forward with this project and, and make it what it is and it's been it's been a journey and it's been an experience and you know grateful for every opportunity that we've had mm. man because it's been it's been a learning curve more um, to come man yeah more to come one oh, last thing the video i think it's such the video looked yeah. energetic you know like did you have to, you have to go to gym or like how do you <laughs> It's so everyone in the and I was like, this should be like a fitness video, like, that's serious, that's perfect. Yeah, listen, we have, we have a lot of energy, like, yeah, from when we started, we was in boot camp for six months straight, like, ten till six, every day, no... What kind of things are you doing in, in, in boot camp? Dancing, singing, fitness, drills, MC yeah. and styling, anything you can think Even of. Even facial, doing. down to facial expressions, done looking in, in the mirror, mirror and yeah. do, 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 do working on face. crazy. And we had a we had um, a fitness coach as well. Um, I remember when we were staying at Tika's for a week, and yeah. we, she used to come to the house at like six in the morning, and she was like, right, come on, and like she's like. She'll get us in, in my front room doing press ups, sit ups, doing all of that, and then she'll get right. Let's go carry each other on the back and run, run to the park. That's like what that. Um, that so Beyonce is to do yeah. together, right? but that's like I feel like in the UK a lot of people don't really take that part that's, seriously I, that's they're, why not, I they're think not on that regime yeah. they're, they're kind of lazy with it oh I do <laughs> you guys but there's some people that's like they're just going to get up close to the studio sing yeah. you guys actually like you know, but sometimes we want to do that. Sometimes we're like, I can't be bothered, man. Just leave us alone. But like, it's it's for the best because on stage it shows if you yeah. work out or not. And like, Martika kickboxes, and I do a bit of roller skating on the side here and there. And like, even those little things help out as well. Yeah, so it's showing that the physical fitness is quite yeah. important. Even jumping on train and doing all the walking and stuff. You don't <laughs> yeah. understand these. That things help people. <laughs> But I think that was great talking to you ladies. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Thank, Thank you. you.